Well, first of all, I feel so great to be on the stage. And, <laughs> and of course, I feel so nervous now. I was okay, but now I am. And uh, last night, when I first um, got the phone call from the student, and I, I, I just said yes, yeah, I love the idea. Then last night, I regretted it, of course. <laughs> uh, I felt pressure. What should I do? What should I talk? And then, now, uh, standing here, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> so being spotlighted like this, and then looking at my dear old students, and principal and vice principal, it, it feels so good. And um, also, I, I am, uh, I'm the only one who had to look at the script. So, but still, I, I'm sure you, you can understand. And uh, I'm giving you this chance to, to evaluate your teacher on the stage, actually. Usually, the situation is the reverse. Then I was there to help you to, to be on the stage and to make a public speech. And now, it's a very good chance for you to, to look at me to, to make a proper speech. And uh, when I got the, the invitation card, it was like this. And then I thought, the title is just awesome. We just start Tedu. <laughs> and then, uh, but it seems to me that I think you've complete Tedu. <laughs> and my topic today is actually complete and not compete. So even though they sound very similar, and today I, I really want to talk about uh, my view on life and my attitude and I, I really want to share those things because I think I should, make, should have made this speech six months ago <laughs> this is very much belated speech but it's the best way um, to, to end my 22 year teaching career now, now I'm not anymore an English teacher and also this is the very best way um, to deliver my ability to say goodbye speech to my students. <laughs> okay. And so today I'm going to talk about complete and um, not compete uh, with the, my favorite topics. So uh, first, this is not my favorite word. So this is a very competitive word, which is very familiar to you, and there are very many things which stresses you. And we are living this world, especially in Korean society. Uh, you started studying like from a very young age, uh, still you are studying, and maybe there are probably 10 more years to study, probably. And then, uh, here is the competition, which is not really which is not really pleasant thing. So without this, um, without this competition, study might be very enjoyable, isn't it? Yeah, I, I can't see a lot of nodding there. Yeah, actually, the the study proves that human beings um, naturally love learning new things. So the difference between people and animal is the curiosity. So and but. Here in, inside the school, there are very many chances. Uh, actually, the, there is a big danger to kill the curiosity. Instead, you are under a great pressure of competition. So today, I really want to talk about, okay, instead of competing, and uh, let's focus on completing. So here, complete means complete complete a lot of things. You can complete a lot of things such as complete to blank probably and complete to uh, a mission and complete a task and, and complete, a, okay, complete a course and something else. So today let's talk about some completing things. So to do so I'm going to, I, I brought up some things. First thing is like this one and actually Today I, I have to confess, I will make a few confessions today actually, and my identity is a galaxy traveler. Sounds cool. <laughs> so even though I am living in the, the same society as you, but I all the time think of the universe, yeah, I'm living in the universe, and uh, to survive in the universe, I should be, become really strong. So I work hard. And then, 
I'm going to talk about this university, but there are two more. And another one is game, another one is manga. So let's talk about game first. So this is the, these are the things I I am playing games. Actually, I'm a great to game player, and I, <laughs> I know you, you are. And then these are the, the observation I gained through a lot, a thousand times of game playing. So I thought, yeah, life and study, they are all the same as game. So uh, they are all done, and they are all rewarding, and they, they have degrees, and they, you need a lot of practice, and also you need a little bit of knowledge. So first, they are fun, you agree. Then they are, they are rewarding, like, a, you know, every time you finish a game, you can, you can see the result. And also, you can see the result of your study as well. And about the level and degree, I thought they are really important. And, hey, do you think that, is it possible to stay in the same stage forever in a game? No. You, you level up. Okay. And then if you level up, and what about the degree of difficulty? It goes on, right? So that's the fun part of the game. If it is constantly boring, and would you play the game? No. So it's really challenging. So that is the, the common part between life, the study, and game. And also, okay, that's the thing. Uh, actually, I am the best game player in my family members. So <laughs> my, st my daughter studied every game, but and then I catch up with her, and then I am the one who remains. And then they all quit. And then, and then I realize that I am the one who, who is practicing, the others not. So I think practice part is really important in a game, in a study as well. So if you spend a, enough amount of time, and study becomes easier, I'm sure. And then, but the, my point today is not about all these four things, but about the last thing. So I really want to share my recent observation about the game. And that was my recent favorite thing, what is it? <laughs> and uh, are you playing this game? How many of you are playing? Still, you all kid? <laughs> are you still playing? And uh, I was enjoying it, but there came an ordeal, a hardship like this, level 271. Do you remember it? Do you know what really troubles me? I didn't know how to solve the puzzle in the middle. I didn't know what to do with the lock. I couldn't open the lock for one month. A very interesting thing is that uh, I, I lost interest. So instead of uh, further exploring about the game, I just wanted to quit. But before quitting, I asked Dr. Nabel, what is it? <laughs> so, that, unlike you, I don't have any friend who to concert. So finally, I asked the neighbor, and the neighbor says, uh, kill some same color, same kind of animal or something. So but finally, I realized that I lost interest. And then, this gave me a very good chance to think about learning and studying and the game, the similarities. So I. For 22 years, I observed so many students losing interest in the class. And why? And now I realize that because they were focusing on competing only, not completing. So in the game, if you cannot complete the task, you cannot really move on. So I was stuck there for one month doing the same thing over and over and over, over again, not knowing the meaning of the, the small, simple lock in, in the middle. And Maybe it's the same in the class time. The students, when they have got some something unsolved problems, they just think that, oh, it'll be okay, and then let's move on. And then the teacher think the same as well. So jindo, so-called proceeding, is really important. And every teacher, every student, and parents also believe that finishing a book is really important. Actually, it isn't. You should complete the task, and to complete the task, you should know everything there. So if you cannot really solve the puzzle, you cannot really proceed. But in Korean classroom, there are so many moments where students lose the very key point there. So that's what I observed through the game. So whenever I, I got stuck, actually I come back to the game and to gain some more insights. Every time, it helps me a lot. So life is difficult, so is game. But um, every, many people just think that they can overcome the difficulty in the game, but not outside the game. 
and I'm sure it's all the same, but every time you have a new challenge, it seems really, really difficult and very hard to overcome. Actually, it is not. What you need is some, some uh, quite, uh, enough amount of practice and also knowledge and information as well. So that's first of my topic. And now, this is my manga, my favorite manga. Do you know what it is? It says the One Piece. And I, okay, so many times I've told about Luffy already, but again, I really want to uh, share my love about Luffy because uh, he's a really nice guy in, in many senses, but above all, I like him. I want to share, share his story with you because he loves challenging and he does not have fear. But actually, he wasn't strong from the beginning. He was a very weak, vulnerable, fragile boy when he was young, but he decided to be strong. So now I want to share a, a little video clip with you. It's what he says. So he didn't really want to. Kikitakunai, kikitakunai, and umi e dete kitayo, something like that. I learned Japanese from this loopy guy, and I really love him. And uh, this this impresses me a lot, and I really want to share this part with you. And for you, I really want to suggest to challenge your life. Okay, the life would be really dangerous, but you'll never know before you go there. So before you go there, okay, afraid, feel, fearing something, it's not really useful to do. It's not really. I I do not really encourage you to do so. So instead theory of something, just do it like, like looking, and uh, to do so, so here I have to tell you about challenging and changing. So uh, actually in Luffy's case, he changed himself quite many times. If you watch it, the, the Japanese animation, you, you understand. And actually, while he was challenging, uh, all those difficulties, he grows stronger. So, challenging your life means a lot of things. And finally, I want to share um, my last two favorite thing, and this is from Star Trek. And Star Trek is another, my other favorite movie, and it's also about the space travel which I'm dream, dreaming for, and I want to share the ending credit with you. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before.